Welcome to Canada's podcast. Hi, everyone. I'm Phil Bliss, founder and CEO of Canada's podcast, and I'm coming to you today from Toronto. And today we're going to meet Hanson Zhang, who is one of the owners of Three Bridges Group, a real estate development company. As a Chinese immigrant who moved to Canada 14 years ago, Hanson is captivated by nature's beauty and the Canadian people's warmth. However, when he traveled with his parents around the USA before they came, they also went to Niagara Falls and Vancouver and decided to settle in Canada. And the awe-inspiring Niagara Falls left a lasting impression on his family during that tour. So in 2008, they immigrated here. And now, as Three Bridges, one of their big projects is to build a stunning mega mixed-use complex in front of Niagara Falls that matches the natural wonder's beauty. So let's have an interesting conversation and find out a bit more about Hanson. So Hanson, welcome to Canada's podcast. Uh, I know you're in Vancouver, but you're also operating in Ontario, really uh, across Canada in terms of uh, in terms of development. Um, uh, but before we get kind of further into the conversation, why don't you, don't you tell everyone a little bit about more about you, what you do, how you got here, and and I'm also interested in the generational family business of real estate. Mm -hmm. development that you that you're you kind of operate inside so you know tell us a little bit give us give us a few minutes on that on that yeah uh it's it's a pleasure to uh to meet you philip and uh i'm here in vancouver uh so first time doing a podcast but uh thank you a lot for for the uh minor introduction and uh so basically, um, my background is uh, real estate, where uh, my grandfather was started as a real estate developer. My st my father is doing uh, real estate development. And uh, after we came to Canada, uh, we decided to immigrate to Canada in 2009. And uh, we officially became uh, Canadian in 2010. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, afterwards, we're thinking, what should we do in Canada? Uh, you know, it, going to a different country everything is starting from the ground zero uh and later on we started to uh, invest in uh, real estate development and uh having the first development here completing uh vancouver uh burnaby and then we're working on our second project uh we're a pretty new company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh, i mean what kind of development and just to give it's interest i mean you know just tell everyone about a couple of the projects that you're that you're kind of uh, progressing, if you like, because uh, you know it's interesting uh, to, to to find that out. I mean, it was I mean, before we got on, it was interesting to hear the story about how your parents had had gone to the U.S. thinking about emigrating there, then they stopped in Niagara Falls and Vancouver and ended up coming to Canada. That was that was really wow. Okay, uh, but you've got a, another Niagara Falls connection, I know. Y yes, uh, yeah, th that was a very interesting story because uh, back in two thousands and two thousand and tens, that's where a lot of the the, the the mainland Chinese are looking for uh, uh, alternative uh, residence, and uh, very popular places, USA. A lot of uh, people move to US. And so as my parents, they wanted to uh, move to U.S. In the beginning, I was back in uh, middle school and my parents said, OK, we're, we're looking to move to USA. And they took a tour uh, organized by tour guide, a very long tour, a one month tour. So they visited uh, most of the, the, the major cities of the U USA. And uh, there's two Canadian stops during that trip. Uh, one is Niagara Falls. It's just across the border from U.S. And uh, they, they, they went to see the famous waterfall. And another one is Vancouver, uh, where I, uh, I am. And uh, you know, they were amazed by the beauty of uh, Canada and, and, and uh, how friendly the people are and uh, how nice the, you know, the, all the environment, the, 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 the natures we have. So they came back and uh, basically they told us, uh, they told me that, okay, we're no longer moving to USA. We chose Canada as, a, as the country we, we want to be, uh, you know, staying in Vancouver. 
and uh, because they, they they saw this uh, better option, and that here we go in 2010, we 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 came to Canada, and, and now it's been 15 years, 14 years. Canada's podcast is your gateway to success in the world of entrepreneurship. Start listening today. Canada's podcast.com subscribe now. They're 14 years. So in that 14 years, obviously there's education in there uh, uh, and moving into the, into the business. Um, tell us about, you know, you talked about one project. Tell us a little bit about other stuff that, 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 that let's be specific, the Niagara Falls project. I think everyone, everyone's always, you know, the falls is, is our, what's that, one of the seven wonders. So we're always interested to know about that kind of thing. Yes. So, uh, after we, uh, moved to Canada, uh, basically my, my dad left all, all his business. He used to work, uh, you know, in construction business and he's, he's also a partner with my grandfather on, on the real estate development. But, uh, after we moved here, uh, He's looking at what should we do in Canada, and uh, he's where our backbone is, uh, you know, real estate. And I grew up seeing a lot of construction sites. Um, then we we uh, in 2014 and uh, 15, and uh, my father and a few few of his friends, uh, you know, it's it's similar story to the friends and families uh, around the similar time. There were a lot of uh, immigrants who, who came to Vancouver, and we got together basically. Okay, let's start a business in Canada. You know, as a foreigner, we want to, uh, you know, uh, contribute to the Canadian, you know, uh, society and economy. Uh, how do we do that? Then we start uh, investment. So uh, the really the first uh, real estate project we uh, started and and now it's completed. It's it's a uh, a project by uh, Metrotown Station here in uh, Burnaby. Metrotown is a very large shopping mall. And uh, during that time, there hasn't been uh, lots of uh, residential buildings. Now you go to Metro Town, you see that looks like a downtown. <laughs> so, but but uh, uh, we, our first project is a uh, two condominium building, uh, 141 stories and 128 stories of uh, 490 uh, unit homes. And uh, it's called, called Gold House. Uh, Gold House project, and uh, that, that's our first project. Now you go to Metrotown Station, and uh, you can see the two uh, shining gold building. That's, that's our uh, first project. And uh, mm. now we're working our second project based in uh, Niagara Falls. What's the project in Niagara Falls? Yeah, so Niagara Falls is an interesting story because uh, that was the one of the first cities my parents visited. Uh, but since we moved to Canada, there's so many friends and relatives when they came to visit us, they said, okay, take us to the Niagara Falls. Because in, back in China, when we were uh, elementary school, we studied about oh, the biggest waterfall, uh, the Niagara Falls. It's a very famous uh, destination. So we uh, couldn't count how many times we have to you know, fly four and a half hours from Vancouver and uh, taking the, the relatives, my grandparents, and uh, my 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 uncles, man, this <laughs> is so many friends and families. Uh, we took them to Niagara Falls, and uh, we uh, noticed uh, there's a tremendous potential uh, in this city. Where uh, every time we take friends and relatives, they really want to visit Niagara Falls, and uh, they go there excited, taking pictures. But we, we've noticed that after they're taking pictures, they have uh, not much uh, places to visit where uh, the hotels and the attractions and the restaurants are pretty outdated uh, as the biggest uh, tourist tr attraction in Canada. So we thought, we always thought this uh, city has a lot of potential. And uh, then the opportunity came across in 2018 where uh, there's uh, a land has a really good view of the, the, the nature wonder. And uh, it's probably the last site that hasn't built anything on it. And it's across from the convention center next to the Marriott. And uh, we took a uh, step. Uh, so, so we 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 talked to our um, you know partners and investors, and then we thought uh, everybody agreed, everybody loved it, and so we 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 went up and then purchased purchased this site, and it's been five years now. Cool. You know, let's go back to the entrepreneurship side of it. That's a cool project. I, I'm interested. I mean, I. 
I live I live close to Niagara Falls, so I'm interested to see where, where, where it's going. Yeah. Uh, well, come, coming from you know with with the family, coming from a new new country, what, what advice would you give an entrepreneur that that's coming into Canada? Mm -hmm. And that wants to start a business here. It's mm -hmm. not the same. Uh, I mean, I've done it, uh, but it's not the same. You know, you 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 you're learning to adjust to a different society, kind of thing. Um, what what advice would you give somebody uh, uh, that's in that similar position? Yeah. So the biggest ad advice I think my which my father is doing uh, really well is to follow the Canadian rules uh, because whatever we do. Uh, maybe similar in nature real estate but uh when you do uh business in any other countries starting from the the the, the, the grown up uh, it's like where we're starting a startup because you know when you go to another country you have a different set of rules including the business rules uh that's uh you know everything we do we have to follow the guidelines and uh, follow the, the local laws and uh, follow everything we're doing things in the canadian way uh mm -hmm. we do which we do see a lot of peers uh, the, when they are not doing uh, very well on this side, they they, they get into troubles. And uh, we the biggest advice for for us for for the, for the immigrants or newcomers to another country the, is to uh, follow the local rules and uh, laws. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's a good one. You know, what advice would you give an an entrepreneur? You know that that's that's going to start a new business. I mean, forget the the mm -hmm. forget the generational side, forget the immigrant side of it. Mm -hmm. You've also start started a new business. So, what advice would you give someone that you know mm -hmm. at that point, basically? Yeah, although it's a family business, but uh, it it is uh, we're starting out from ground zero. So basically, uh, you know, I'm not there to get give. As a position to get advice to 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 the new entrepreneur, but uh, what what we do is uh, everything we do. We have to have a really good reason why we're doing it. Beside on you know making profit and making money, and mm -hmm. uh, we believe if we are doing the right thing, and uh, even though we don't get to the finish line or or somehow, but uh, it's a journey that's worth taking. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in, in terms of advice, you know. What's the best piece of advice that you've received that, you know, when it comes to business, it might be from a grandfather, it might be from your father, whatever, <laughs> that, that, that you received that you kind of have there as, you know, as sort of something that is always there. You know, you, 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 you sort of keep it in your, in your back pocket kind of thing. Yeah. So the, the the best advice I got from my grandfather uh, is you know, love what you do. It's not do what you love, but love what you do, um, which is uh, very interesting because my, my grandfather is in his 80s and he mm -hmm. goes to the construction site every morning, 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. you know, Monday to Friday. And you know, even on the New Year, Chinese New Year, he still uh, he loved to go there. Mm -hmm. he, he can never retire. And he uh, he told me really young, you know, love what you do if you love what you do you will be good at what you do and then uh if you do what you love that might not end up you know everyone has some passion beside what you do and, uh, oh, i like that I like yeah that. if you try to love what you do and it is a uh, you know you will figure out ways to uh try to maximize the potentials trying to uh do things right stay ahead of the game with our expert tips and strategies that will help your business thrive in a digital era canadaspodcast.com subscribe now so what's the biggest challenge you think you're going to face in your future as an entrepreneur yes so the biggest challenge will be uh you know as a newcomer uh here uh, even though we have a set of track recording experience uh back in our own home countries but uh coming here nobody will recognize that uh track recording other countries where we're really mm -hmm. young, uh, starting new, and mm -hmm. uh, what we are doing is quite different from you know other developers because we've noticed that uh, when we were doing a project basically in the city center in the Burnaby, 
uh, it's really uh, supported financially with the banks because they love things that's uh, secured and, 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 and you know, they're conservative in a way that when you do a project, if there's another project that can be compared and uh, if you do a similar one, they will support you. But if you want to do something that's uh, innovative, uh, for example, going to uh, out, out of the city, going to somewhere far away and uh, do something tourism related because everybody love a uh, condo project here where uh, you sell the the, the pre-sales and then the bank give you construction loans. But the, when you we, we, we are going to Niagara, we, we say, OK, they don't have any new hotels in 20 years. Uh, let's start a new hotel. Let's start a tourist attraction to uh, give the tourists something to do. But this is something really innovative in the, the bank's perspective. And uh, they, they don't like this type of financing. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's that's why when you go to toronto when you go to vancouver you see everything they're building is condos we have too much condos and uh th that's simply because the, the bank like to finance condos we have so much developers here so much condo project but if you want to do yes. something like entertainment <laughs> restaurants that you want to yes, do something well, anything, they, they, they wouldn't uh yeah. really much support it Based on pricing, I'm not sure they're that keen any, uh, <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let, let's do. You know, in terms of your your, your business, um, what do you think? You know, your biggest challenge in your future as an entrepreneur is going to be. I mean, it's a you know. The world has changed, you know, in the last five years. Um, mm -hmm. What do you, what, you know, you're talking about the banks and things like that. Mm -hmm. What do you see as your biggest challenge in the future? Yeah, so the, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, real estate developer in Canada, right? And uh, I do see that right now everybody's facing challenges because the market has mm -hmm. changed, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are suffering especially people in real estate space. And I do think it's a time to transform and uh, transition to uh, a new business model when challenges mm -hmm. uh, appear and uh, you have to uh, transition yourself into doing something that, that's, uh, that may work in the future. So that may take some type of uh, innovation. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say the biggest challenges for any real estate developer right now is to innovate their model, the current model, which is uh, they've been using for the last 20 years. They, they will acquire the site, build a presentation center, sell the condos, and the bank will give you the financing. But now uh, nobody is really buying uh, or investing in uh, you know, pre-sales condominium uh, units. They have been building a lot of them in the t past 10 years. There's a lot of buildings. Uh, so there's a lot of options for the, for the buyers to, to choose from, the, the ones already built. Um, and... Mm -hmm. uh, when this model is not working and uh, to, to try to think of what's other models that, that you can transition yourself from. Okay. okay. That's some, some really good input, insights actually. And so I'm really enjoying it. So, but let, we're coming to close to, to the end. So let's have two or three fun questions uh, at the end uh, that I like to do. First one is, are you a morning or a night person? Yep. Uh, I, I'm a morning person. I, I love to wake up early and uh, do things in the morning. Uh, in the evening, I couldn't do anything. I would just want to relax. <laughs> and if you had to pick one word to describe who Hanson is, what would it be uh, and why would you choose it? Um, manifest. Because, you know, you know, uh, I... I I'm not okay. Say okay. So I grew up seeing a lot of construction. So real estate's a boring business to me, and mm -hmm. I like to uh, always being creative on seeing whatever things I do, trying to uh, take it to another level, try to innovate. And yeah. uh, so manifest will be a right word because uh, it's really transform your imagination into a reality, and that take a lot of uh, creativities. And it uh, takes a lot of actions. And uh, so I will say uh, my, my, my journey is a manifest journey. And uh, or also our business, if it works, it is a manifest journey because it is something that no one has been done in the last 20 years. Interesting. 
And what's keeping you up at night? Well, you know, I'm excited about what type of work I will put up tomorrow. And I will always think what type of actions I will take, you know, what, who I'm going to meet and uh, what's, a, or what's a new ideas, what's a new, you know, meet, meetings and anything uh, about what I do for the next day. That, that's what keep on me up at the night. Okay. And so it has been great meeting you. Really, really enjoyed it. A really kind of interesting session. Um, <laughs> me as well. Uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, I hope you've enjoyed your first podcast. Uh, thanks for coming on Canada's podcast. Thank you very much.